Polkadot is a blockchain project created by Gavin Wood, who is only the former co-founder and CTO of Ethereum. He invented fundamental components of the blockchain industry, including solidity, proof of authority consensus, and etc. It's backed by key actors like Parity Technologies and the Web3 Foundation and raised over $144 million in October of 2017. How could Polkadot change the blockchain and the internet worlds? There are two main issues in the crypto world as of today. The first one is safety and the second one is the lack of interoperability. Interoperability can be defined as the capacity of a blockchain to communicate with the other blockchains. Do you remember the old times when it was long and dangerous to travel from one city to another? Well, that's the exact state of the blockchain world today. You can get hacked on the road and it takes time and is very complicated to transfer data or assets from one blockchain to another. Now imagine, in that scenery, someone appeared with a technology that built a secured highway between the cities, provided for the vehicles, and gave all the builders the tools to build safer buildings. Well, this technology would have changed the world in no time, right? Well, now you understand exactly what Polkadot is going to do in the blockchain world, taking us from the middle age directly into the future by building safe roads between all the blockchains and facilitate developers' works. Apps and services on Polkadot can communicate across chains in a secured way, forming the basis for a truly decentralized web where all blockchains can communicate. Let's focus on the main part of Polkadot architecture to understand why it's so special. The main pieces of the Polkadot ecosystem are the relay chains and the parachains. Number one, a relay chain, also called a layer zero blockchain. This is the heart of Polkadot. It is mainly responsible for the network's shared security and cross-chain interoperability. It's the core of the project. Its main purpose is to coordinate the system as a whole, including parachains that will be connected to its slots. Number two, parachains and parathreads. Parachains are blockchains that are connected in parallel to the relay chain through slots. They are specialized, which means each parachain has its own use case. They are independent and have the ability to control their own governance. Polkadot allows the use of these relay chain slots with two subscription models, parachains and parathreads, that will not be detailed here, but the idea is quite the same. Parachains will be connected in parallel to the relay chain. Due to their parallel nature, interactions on parachains are processed simultaneously, enabling highly scalable systems. Now that you understand Polkadot's architecture, Polkadot also includes bridges to connect the network to other blockchains. A blockchain bridge is a connection that allows for data or tokens to go from one network to another. Basically, it allows Polkadot to communicate with other blockchains. We made a video on how bridges work if you want to know more about it. In order to keep this video understandable for everyone, we won't go further within the Polkadot architecture. But you should know that there are other pieces involved, like nominators, collators, etc. So we could see Polkadot as the heart, the main blockchain, and the parachains pair threads, the secondary and specialized blockchains, as various parts of the body. Polkadot's architecture and the technology behind it are absolute game changers for the blockchain world. Here are seven reasons that make Polkadot different from its competitors. When you build a new blockchain, you must start from nothing. So if you want your blockchain to work, you have to build a lot of different products, bridges, DEFI app, etc. It's impossible to be good at everything, and Polkadot understood that very well. Since the relay chain provides for security, speed, and interoperability, each parachain can focus on what they do best. With Polkadot, developers will be able to focus on their main target in the area in which they are best while remaining independent. For example, Moonbeam focuses on connected contracts, Akala on DEFI, and some parachains will focus on identity, privacy, storage, etc. For blockchains to work together and form the basis of Web3, a common language was needed. Polkadot has created XCM, a cross-consensus communication format and programming language that allows blockchains of different designs to exchange data, code, and value in a safe way so all the parachains are natively using XCM and can communicate together. What about other blockchains outside of the ecosystem? First, there are bridges to connect Polkadot to them. 
In addition, Moonbeam, a parachain of Polkadot in collaboration with Axelor, created the first cross-chain contracts called Connected Contracts. It's revolutionary since it allows access to all blockchains through Moonbeam. We have made a more detailed video about that that you may want to watch. Polkadot recently announced that this technology will allow the speed of the network to increase the number of transactions per second, TPS, up to 1 million. As an example, Visa can process up to 24,000 transactions per second, and Ethereum is supposed to process anywhere from 20 to 100,000 transactions per second. So Polkadot will be way faster than its competitors, which allows it to handle more transactions at the same time and therefore make it more scalable. Polkadot's relay chain is built with a technology called Substrate, a blockchain building framework that enables developers to quickly and easily build future-proof blockchains optimized for any use case. They also use other technologies such as Rust or Wasm that are well known from developers and make it easy for them to create their project. The Polkadot team includes some of the most famous blockchain experts like Gavin Wood and Robert Habermeyer, so no wonder why they offer the best existing tools for developers to build their project in a secure ecosystem. Polkadot has one of the lowest carbon footprints among proof-of-stake protocols. According to GreenCryptoResearch.com, DOD performs very well compared to other cryptocurrency with an electronic waste of around 0.03 tons annually. For example, Bitcoin mining generates about 6,000 tons of e-waste per year. DOT also compares favorably with similar proof-of-stake cryptocurrencies, such as Algorand, approximately 2 tons, Avalanche, approximately 1 ton, or Tezos, approximately 0.4 tons. Usually, blockchains compete with each other over resources to secure their networks. Blockchains are easily attacked until they develop a significant community to support their network. Polkadot takes a different approach by letting blockchains pool their security, which means that the blockchain's security is aggregated and applied to all. By connecting to Polkadot, blockchain developers can secure their blockchains from day one. Chains remain independent in terms of governance, but they are also united in terms of security. Furthermore, Polkadot has a canary network to ensure more security. The network is an experimental development environment built using nearly the same code base as Polkadot for teams who want to move fast and innovate on Kusama or prepare for deployment on Polkadot. For example, Moonbeam launched on Kusama first, Moon River, before actually moving to Polkadot. Kusama is actually way more than just a canary network. It has its own community and its own projects. Polkadot has a sophisticated governance system where all stakeholders have a voice. Also, network upgrades are coordinated on the relay chain and without forking the network. It means that each time the community decides to update the network, it will be autonomously enacted. On the contrary, Ethereum needed a fork, which basically means a new ETH version to update the network. Polkadot can easily be updated and adapt to new technologies anytime. Polkadot may change the world of crypto and it has the means of its ambition. The team, the backers, it has everything. Will it succeed for sure? No one knows. This won't happen today, but likely over the next five to 10 years. However, we consider the blockchain today to what the internet was in the 90s, which means a lot of investing opportunities. We do believe in Polkadot. Guess who else believes in the project? Blockchain developers. Polkadot has the highest development activity, and we believe that the next few years will see the rise of a giant. Nevertheless, make your own research and never invest more than you can afford to lose since any crypto investment is risky.